hello boys and girls, Grandpa Chris here. We've seen the video from Rockfall yesterday and then you saw how in many places it's really rather muddy. So always a consequence of fishing in a muddy place, you get muddy fly lines. So what I'm planning to do this morning is just show you how I like to clean my own fly line. We all do things differently, um, but this is what I find works for me. So we're all going to start off, I'm not plugging any products, but this is what I like to use. It's called Back to Black, um, and it's the sort of thing you use for polishing your dashboards and all of that sort of thing. And I find it gives me a lovely coating on the line, and the line absolutely flies through the guides. But what we do, we'll start off by just basically doing a quick wash of the line. Put the line all set out here, and it really does feel horribly sticky. So what I'm going to do, very, very mild soap in a sponge, and I just like to run my line through a couple of times just to let the soap get into it. Just flicking the line out onto the, the floor beside me so that hopefully it doesn't sort of entangle up in little spools on the floor. Now yesterday I was casting about three quarters of the fly line, which is pretty much all you need at Rockfall to be quite honest. So we're getting quite close to the end now. So turn it round and start going in the other direction. And already I can feel it's smoother and cleaner going through. So we just keep going until we reach the end. And the I can see the line is getting clearer. Can we throw to the shooting head of the line now? Coming up towards the end. Okay, so that's the end. And that's some of the crap that's come off the line. Okay. Now, next step. A bit of kitchen tissue. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dry the soap off the line. Well, we had such a fantastic day there yesterday with Martin and with Paul and Paul's dad and Sasha was there and Nick and Peter and many others, Andy and Jolene. And we all had lots and lots of fish between us. We had a great time with the Scooby Snacks and the Sasha's Magic Potion. Yeah, there you go, that's what's come off the line. I don't know quite what Sasha puts in that magic potion, but I tell you what, it does help you sleep. So, getting another clean piece of kitchen tissue. What I now do, with some of the back to black, I spray it onto the cloth. Put plenty on. And then I find my line. I lay the line through the cloth and pulling it through, giving a little bit of a stretch as I go through. You can hear that on the camera. So I've got quite a tight pinch between thumb and forefinger. Feel the line getting thicker in my hand now. Shake the little coil that's come in. And that's actually come up very, very clean. So, yeah. And one more time, going back in the opposite direction, sending the line out well away from myself, again, to avoid coils. And we're done. So that's how much is taken off it. It doesn't look that much, but the line feels so sweet and so smooth in my hand now. And then it's just a case of winding it back on. So the same piece of cloth, pinching it between thumb and forefinger, and using my little finger, 
I'm going to guide the line back onto the reel so that it spreads evenly across the reel. And with the cloth running through the cleaning agent again, the line feels so slick and so smooth now. Ready for next trip out. What I'll do in a few moments is I'm just going to wipe the rod blank itself down because that is a little bit mucky. We all know how to do that so there's no point in me showing you. See, sometimes you get a little coil like that which is simple enough. Just pinch it between thumb and forefinger and off it goes. Okay, so once again just guiding it across the reel so that it goes on nice and smooth, nice and level. Very gentle tension on it so that you don't get a backlash. And that, boys and girls, is how I like to clean my line. Very simple, very straightforward, very, very cheap. A can of this stuff, about six quid in the shop. So it's Simon uh, Simon's Back to Black Bumper Trim, available in um, Halfords or any other car shop, and a little bit of very mild, very highly diluted washing up liquid. And that's how I like to do it. Thank you for your time. Grandpa Chris, signing off.